Hello, I'm Kevin Cameron, and I'm about to give a history lecture. Around 1940, the manufacturers of air-cooled piston aircraft engines were having trouble with pistons that were running too hot. They were scoring their cylinders, there were seizures, there were breakups. So they experimented with the idea of supplying extra oil from an oversized oil pump and directing jets of oil up underneath the pistons to cool the underside of the dome. So combustion is heating this side, oil cooling jets were cooling this side. That way the heat is only the thickness of the piston crown away from the cooling. At the time of those experiments in 1940, the investigator wrote, too bad that we can't solve the oil control issues that are caused by squirting so much oil around inside the engine. Well, they overcame that problem with improved oil control rings. And when the famous Harley tuner Tom Sifton was working with Joe Leonard, the late Joe Leonard, he decided that he would attack one of the worst problems of the flathead Harley KR racing engine, which was piston seizure in distorted cylinder bores. He thought to himself, if it works for aircraft engines, it might work for me. So old Tom included piston cooling oil jets in the race engines that he built for Joe Leonard. Well, such oil jets have been used for a long time in Formula One, and they are now in use in MotoGP, and they're showing up in production engines. In this little CBR, for example, this tube, which runs across the engine, when looked at from this side, If we look down in here, right where my finger is, each, at each cylinder, that tube has a hole in it from which a jet of oil shoots up to hit the underside of the piston dome, splash across to the other side, and fall back into the crankcase. So this is a production engine. It is employing a method of piston cooling that was experimental in 1940, that in 1946 became an integral part of both military and civil aircraft engines, and which, through Tom Sifton, a very imaginative and gifted engine builder, became a part of motorcycling in general. So that now, I was looking at a photograph of a Harley-Davidson 8-valve Milwaukee 8 twin and I thought to myself, what are those little aluminum fittings screwed there in the crankcase? Cylinder mouths, piston cooling oil jets. Tom Sifton would be proud. <laughs>